Hello everyone. Uh, what is masking? The most graphic softwares we're using, such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, uh, Anime CC, and even Adobe XD, uh, always there is an option is called masking. Okay, let me make it simple. Here's an image on the bottom layer, like a Nemo. And then I'm adding another new layer on top of that which is covering, blocking uh, my image completely. Uh, just imagine, what if I have a cutout in shape on this top layer, this white paper. We call the stencil. Like this. Okay, so this is a masking. So this is a masking layer. So um, also in masking option, uh, you can control the shape and the size of this top layer, like a circle, triangle, star. Any shape is possible. And also, we can rotate or we can rescale of this top layer so we can animate it. Or even we can animate this bottom layer as well like a video clip or a movie clip. We can rotate it. We can only view the image inside this cutout. So, um, is it clear? Even we can have a letter shape like this. Okay, just like this. Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, the masking effect we can do uh, in Anime CC. Uh, and let's get started. Okay, so on the first, I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to do today uh, for masking effect in Anime CC. We're going to make five different files, really simple ones. So this is the first one, masking uh, flashlight effect. Okay, so this is the first one. And the second one is... Text masking uh, with an image. It will repeat. Okay, so uh, this is a second. And the third one is masking with a shape twinning. Just like this. So we may use it for um, kind of a transition. And the fourth one is Masking with a movie clip symbol. So movie clip symbol keeps playing inside a masking lay, uh, area. And the last one is... This is the one we did last time. Uh, the shining effect on the metal surface. Okay. Uh, all image files we're using, you can download it from the description. I made a link, uh, so please download those files. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's make the first one, flashlight effect using masking. Uh, create new file, 640 by 480 pixel dimension, and 24 frame rate, and HTML5 canvas. Create it. And in the properties panel, please change your stage color to black, pure dark. And just to type, uh, I'm going to change the typeface. Yep, impact, it's good. Let me type uh, masking. And then, uh, please set your um, uh, text color to very dark gray and then I'm going to make it uh, a little bit bigger or let me make it even bigger than this maybe something like this masking 
Okay, I'm gonna name this layer as um, dark. Okay, and then let me make another new layer on top and select your masking, the very first dark text copy. And then in this new layer, highlight the new layer's first keyframe and the insert, I mean, sorry, edit and paste in place. And it will paste your copied text on the same spot on a new layer. And change this text color to white. So on top layer, I have this white masking text and bottom layer, I have a dark gray. I'm going to rename this layer as a white. Okay. Then it's time to make a masking layer. Create new layer on top. I'm going to rename it as a masking. And let me choose the oval tool. And fill color really doesn't matter, but I'm going to use the red so we can see it clearly. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to draw perfect circle a little bit taller then my um, the text height places somewhere here okay then select the first keyframe on this masking layer go to insert menu and create classic twin insert keyframe let me insert another keyframe on two second mark highlight the two second mark that frame on top layer and insert the keyframe and then in my on my second keyframe highlight the second keyframe just to move this red dot to the right crossing so it will do this okay other two the bottom two layers select both and then highlight the second uh, two second mark both frames and insert just either just a frame or a keyframe really doesn't matter it's keyframe so we can keep it okay we're almost there now select the top masking layer hold down the control key and click on this masking layers icon and choose the mask that's it so let me test the movie command return on a web browser it is like that kind of a 007 movie james bond movies intro ding 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 okay so first one is done. Okay, so let's make the second one, uh, the text masking with an image. So please download the image uh, from the link I provided, uh, the card.jpg, and please import it to your library like this. Okay, now just a drag and drop uh, to your stage, onto your stage. That's a big image. I'm going to align center, uh, align to stage, center, center. Okay, looks good. Then create a new layer on top. And this will be the text layer. Uh, so let me rename the first one as a car and a new layer as a text. Okay. And this text layer, uh, please type any word, but I'm going to type speed. And please make it bigger. The text color really doesn't matter because we're not going to see the color of this text. It's just like this. Okay. 
so it looks good let me zoom out a little bit that's quite big okay move it up a little bit yep looks good and then we're going to animate both layers so I highlight the first keyframe of bottom layer and the first keyframe of your top layer by holding down the shift key and go to insert menu and cla uh, create classic twin and insert keyframes on those two layers so we have uh, the two keyframes on each layer departure and the destination so we can make some changes so first um, <clears throat> this bottom image car image layer I'm going to change the size so on the first keyframe, highlight it and click on your image on your stage. Then open transform panel and make it smaller, maybe like this. So um, the image is kind of getting bigger like this. Okay. Now top layer, uh, I'm going to have the kind of opposite. So um, the car is getting bigger, but the text will be getting uh, smaller. So from the top, let me insert, I mean the, um, open the transform panel, click on your text, and make it bigger, huge, like this. See? So text is getting smaller and the image is getting bigger. Now it's time to apply for masking. Hold down the control key, click on your text layer, choose the mask. Play it. So this will happen. Uh, in order to give some kind of little more dynamics, what I'm going to do is on my car layer, let me unlock these two layers. So first keyframe of my color layer, open the properties, and let me change the um, uh, this is option, just the um, uh, minus 100. And also same way, highlight the first keyframe of the text layer, and is options, this time positive 100. And you can see the distance. So let me lock these two layers again. Okay, let me test it on a web browser. Basically, it will uh, keep looping just like this. If you want to make it stay about maybe two seconds or three seconds or four seconds, what we can do is go back to animation. And then we're using only one second. So let me make it stay maybe about uh, two more seconds. So on three second mark on both layers, Hold down the shift and insert keyframes. And it will stay two seconds and will keep playing again. So let me test it again. Two, one, two. Okay. So second one is done. Okay, now third one is uh, masking with the shape twin. Uh, I created a new document. Uh, this time, the size of this movie is 600 pixel by <coughs> excuse me, 600 pixel um, and 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas. And also, I imported two images uh, from the link: fire.jpg, <coughs> excuse me, and water.jpg. Okay, now. First, import the fire.jpg on the bottom layer. I'm going to name it as a fire. Okay. Now, add new layer on top, place your water.jpg on the same spot. We'll rename it as a water. Now add another new layer. This is going to be a masking layer. 
<coughs> and this masking layer will have a most I mean the shape twin. So first, <coughs> excuse me, on top, uh, this first keyframe of your masking layer, draw, color really doesn't matter, draw a circle, like a dot. Place it in center. Okay. Just leave it as it is. Now, select one second mark, insert, timeline, blank keyframe. Don't worry about the, uh, your missing images. We'll get back. And now this time, draw perfect circle, kind of a tiny one. Place it in <clears throat> the center on your stage. Okay. Now highlight the second uh, two second mark and insert another blank keyframe. And this time draw a big square. And please use the your free transform tool. Rotate it. Maybe 45 degree angle, like this. Uh, once you hold down the shift key, you can rotate 45 or 90 degree. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, please make it big enough to cover your entire stage, like this. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Now select any frame in between first and the second key frame. Go to insert menu and shape to in. Same way, select any frames in between second keyframe and the third keyframe and insert shape to in. Now other two images on the bottom, we're gonna just need to keep it on the bottom. So uh, highlight the two frames, empty frames on the bottom two layers and insert just a keyframe or just a frame, doesn't matter. Now it's time to apply for masking. Highlight the area of masking layer on top, hold down the option and click. Oh, I'm sorry, hold down the control key and click and choose the mask. And this happens. Let me test it on the web browser. Yep. So we may use it for kind of a transition from one page to the second page or from one image to another image. Okay, so third one is done. Okay, so the next one is uh, a masking effect with the movie clip symbol. So please download and import the images into the library, uh, lavender.jpg, lavenderfill.jpg, lavenderb.jpg, and honeyjar, SVG file, uh, scalable uh, vector graphics. Okay, first the thing is, we will need to make yeah, the movie clip symbol so we can uh, have kind of auto-playing uh, movie clip symbol, and kind of like uh, video things. So please create a new symbol. Uh, I'm going to name it as a BG background. Type is a movie clip, not as a button or a graphic, just a movie clip. And oops, sorry, say OK. Now place your center point somewhere here, and I'm going to make it smaller so I can view all five uh, images. I'm sorry, not have 500, 50 percent. Okay, and then. Place <clears throat> all these three. Place it on zero point. Uh, please make sure you're working on this BG movie clip symbols editing window. If you go back, this is a stage. There's nothing yet. But in your library, we have a BG movie clip symbol. It's this the, uh, uh, the gear shape. So double click. So I'm here. Uh, it looks like only one image, but there are three. So select all, and then 
go to modify timeline and distribute to layers so uh, we can assign one image per layer like this and layer one we don't need it so <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to change the order a little bit lavender field the second one I'm gonna move it to the bottom and lavender and lavender B so let me check the top layer lavender B second layer lavender and then on the bottom layer is lavender field okay so we're going to make some kind of uh, the self uh, animating our movie clip symbol so first select all those three keyframes the first ones and then I go to insert menu and create classic twin okay and insert the keyframe uh, but I think um, this one second animation is not very long enough so I'm gonna make it two second animation so select all three on two second mark and insert the keyframe okay so it looks better sorry it's my phone <laughs> okay so this is good and then select your um, uh, the top two layers and please highlight four second mark on top two layers and insert the keyframe okay now we're going to make some changes let me hide the top and the second layer so I can only see at this lavender field so first the thing is we're going to make this lavender fields kind of fading out so highlight the second keyframe of your lavender field layer and click on your image on your stage open the properties color effect please choose alpha from this drop down menu and make it 0% so your lavender field is fading out so this is done second this lavender flower uh, we're going to make the um, <clears throat> we're going to change the um, uh, this alpha value so highlight the first keyframe click on your image change the color effect alpha starting from zero so this is a zero to hundred and it will go back to zero so highlight that keyframe the third one click on your image and change the alpha value down to zero so it's gonna be fading in and out I will do the same thing let me uh, hide uh, this layer again I'm going to do the same thing on this top layer the uh, lavender B so the first two layers are kind of hidden now highlight the first keyframe of your top layer lavender B click on your image color effect change the alpha value starting from 0% to 100% and it will go back to zero fading in and out okay let me <clears throat> make everything visible okay first the two layers I'm gonna just leave it as it is top layer highlight the MR your layer and you will select your entire segment and grab it by keep pressing uh, keep pressing then your mouse button and drag it and place your uh, first keyframe on two second mark like this so what's gonna happen is in and out in and out and out 
Okay, so it's a kind of overlapping. Uh, there's one more thing I need to do. This lavender field, the first one, starting from the 100% of alpha value and fading into uh, the second one and the second one fading into the third one. And it ends in white, which is not good. So what I'm going to do is, let me select, uh, create a new layer on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to place um, my keyframe, I mean the, um, my mouse, cur uh, this playback head on a four second mark here, where the, the second keyframe, uh, second images kind of start fading out. And insert timeline blank keyframe and from the library let me place my the very first one lavender field like this okay then highlight the keyframe insert create classic twin and highlight the very last keyframe and let me insert the keyframe what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make this lavender field fading in. So highlight the keyframe, click on your image, properties, color effect, alpha, from zero. So fading out in. So that means, basically it will keep looping. So once it hits the last keyframe, it will go back to the very beginning. So it will be kind of a smooth kind of a looping. So now, uh, go back to the main scene by clicking this button, the arrow. There's nothing yet. Open your library. From my library, I'm going to have my BG, uh, this movie clip symbol, I have just made it. And then, place it. And let me rename this layer as a BG. Okay. And then create a top, uh, the new layer on top. This layer will be renamed as a jar. Okay. Here's the, the honey, the jar, the SVG file. And drag and drop. Place it somewhere here. And, uh, a little bit up. Okay. Then hold down the control, click, and the mask on top layer. Let me test the movie. Command and return on my web browser so I can see if it works uh, properly. Yep, that's good. And the field. So it's a smooth. Okay. Now I just want to add one more thing on top of that. Let me create a new layer. This layer will be the text layer. And I will just type some word. Um, no, not this one. There is a type I downloaded. Honey something. Yep. Honeymoon. So lavender, honey. Yeah, in black or purple. It's a little bit big. I'll make it smaller. I'm going to break apart twice as a graphic and let me test the movie. Yep, looks good. So it is working. So the fourth one is done. Okay, 
the last uh, the masking effect uh, the shining effect this is the one we did in the last time as well so I made a link on top of this screen so we may um, uh, refer that okay so um, uh, it's the same size 600 by 600 pixel image and then um, uh, I imported this metal.png it's a transparent PNG file into my library okay so place it just drag and drop to your stage center it. Uh, you may use it as it is or uh, what I did using this uh, transform tool is just skew it a little bit like a slanted. Okay. Let me rename it as a letter. I'm going to make a new layer on top and then I'm um, like we did in, in the previous video, I'm going to make a shape for this kind of uh, the reflection area. Uh, let me lock the first bottom layer and then let me choose no fill color and stroke color just uh, maybe red so I can, I can see it clearly. And then please choose the pen tool okay let me zoom in okay with this pen tool I'm going to select it doesn't have to be a super accurate somewhere here before you go to there click on that handler and drag it and click go to next point click and close it so this one is done I'm going to uh, trace the inner circle inner oval as well Okay. So it's done. Now select everything, those two outlines, and please choose any any fill color uh, with this uh, paint bucket tool for the inside. And we don't need those the outlines anymore. Just to delete it. Okay. Let me zoom out again so we can view everything clearly. So this masking, oh, let me rename this layer as a masking layer. Masking. The color really doesn't matter because we're not, we won't see that color, text color. Okay, now make a new layer, place it, move it to the, uh, in between the letter layer and the masking layer. I'm going to rename it as uh, light. Or beam or reflection. Uh, any, any name is okay. Then uh, let me set throw color to nothing and the fill color to this uh, black and white uh, gradient. And let me draw one long and skinny bar. Select it. Open your color palette. You can see there your color palette information, I mean there your field color information. So white to black, it's a linear gradient. I'm going to add new spot in the middle. Double click. Let me set to white. And let me change the, uh, the, the last one to white as well. So white, white, white. Select the, uh, the last one. Change the alpha value down to zero. Select the first one. Alpha value down to zero. 
So that is this. Looks like the um, kind of a Star Wars uh, thing. <laughs> and please choose the, your uh, free transform tool. Rotate it, maybe not too much, about the same angle as this letter. Somewhere here. Okay. Then select this layer's first keyframe. Insert, create classic twin. Insert a keyframe. And insert another keyframe on second mark, two second mark, insert a keyframe. On your second keyframe, just move the location of this light thing, light beam to the right, just like this. So it is moving back to the beginning. Okay. Now we need to keep the letter from the very first keyframe to second to second mark. Insert the keyframe. And also your masking, same thing. Two second mark, insert the keyframe. So this happens. We're almost there now. Select your top layer, hold down the control, click, and the mask. And this happens. Command return so we can preview it on the web browser. OK. Looks good. You can insert uh, any images on your back. So for now we have a white background. Uh, let me try this. Uh, go to uh, pexels.com. Uh, let me choose maybe a universe. Let me type the universe. OK, maybe um, Milky Way. Download it. Okay. It's quite big image. I know that. Let me make it smaller. Uh, crop it into um, six full. I mean, that's six hundred pixel by six hundred pixel. Okay, let me select all, copy, and back to Animate CC. Let me create a new layer. I'm going to move it to the very bottom. And paste it. Command return, let me test it. Preview it. Yeah. So this is done. So we have made it a five different kind of masking effect, a simple move is. The first one was, I don't know where I was, not you. Okay, masking, flashlight effect. And the second, the text masking with an image. And the third, masking with the shape twin. Uh, where are you? Yep, here. And masking with the um, um, movie clip symbol. And the last one, the shining effect, like this. Okay, I hope that this uh, helps on your project. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.